there's some raggedy ass motherfuckers out there and Steve Bannon is all of them. Um, now, there is a, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Back up, you silly thing. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. So, um, let's see if I could, yeah, okay. We'll go on this. All right, now, uh, and by the way, uh, hi, like, subscribe. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's, he's looking like everything's going his way. Now he's in his defense. He's really tired because he was like partying with Trump all weekend. And he went to one of his rallies where, you know, that he went to that young Republicans thing. So, you know, I guess he was just nailing some young Republicans. Um, anyways, uh, so this is, uh, you, you, you understand what a paradise this is. If we just get organized understand what a, what a paradise this is america i guess if we if the if de if republicans get organized Senate's actually trying to uh break cloture on um or get closure on um one or the other on the ndaa so we'll know more about that later uh the ndaa national defense authorization act is a must pass bill the work before us here besides uh Zelensky and the supplemental we fought this good fight and we had remember at the committee We'd taken out the the woke and weaponized the CRT, the DEI. Yeah, the the like one you took like one million dollars, fifteen million dollars out of the defense budget. It, most of it, not all of it, but most. yeah, most of the fifteen. Most of it, because it's it's just it's infested the defense budget. Yeah, infested. Yeah. $15 million versus, what, a trillion? Nearly a trillion? Uh -huh. It's one of the reasons, let's be honest, the military is not hitting on all cylinders. It isn't? Really? Were we attacked? Were we, do, are we taking shit from people? Did they miss their targets in Syria? Are we sending defective gear to to Ukraine the way the Republican or the Russians are? What's the difference? The recruitment's down 25%. Young men and young women. It's always been down. You know why it's down 25%? Because there are a lot more jobs available that pay better. And particularly those families that have been veterans' families and had generations serve, right? We don't have a lot, yeah. lot of career military in our family, but we have a lot of people that serve going for the four to eight years. <laughs> what, uh, I'm sorry. So you've got a lot of, what do you mean in your family? You just have like military temps? I think my kid brother did eight. I did eight. You think? Mo did about eight, all roughly. Others, we've had a couple do 20. Some do four, but it, it's those people that are not going in. Why? You don't want to turn your kids over to this to this woke madness. Is that really why? It's cause they, or is it because they have other financial options? You don't want to do it. Yeah. It's got to be fought, and this is outrageous. To oh, there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, just... Uh, there he goes. Yep, it's uh, you know he's full of shit. To see how they've turned the military into a political operation, you look no further. I mean, milling this stuff is bad enough, but Zelensky came over and addressed the military yesterday. Right. This is an insult, and everything we got. Why is it an insult? Dude is literally fighting for freedom in his country. Going on, the border, the invasion, the budget. I mean, we. <laughs> the border, the invasion, the budget. First of all, fucko. If you had an invasion at your border for real, you wouldn't even be talking about the budget. But this thing is a mess up here. To to insert him and to, to Biden to invite him and Jake Sherman and think that's going to be uh, uh, Jake Sullivan. You think that's going to change people's mind? You're going to insert it in here and make like, oh, well, Zelensky said, if you don't vote for giving this money, they're going to work against you. Why is that? Everybody knows what's going on. There's no other. Also, what the fuck was that? He's a supplicant. There's no other supplication that you could do. I, uh, this is word salad. We know what it is. Know what the facts are. Okay. And please get to some. <laughs> Ron White has really let himself go. It's now time for us to reason together. And here's the reason together. No, All right. no money. No money. The reasonable thing to do is give no money to Ukraine. Because then Russia wins and this guy can afford a razor. And you and you insult us by holding our 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 sacred the sovereignty of the sacred nation. 
the sovereignty of the sacred nation sacredly. And Jeopardy said, oh, well, if you th- if you give us the 60 billion, we'll talk about a couple of uh, putting some lipstick on the, uh, you know, some some nonsense about the border. Never. Well, uh, it might be. And I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here that uh, the Republicans that you talk to view the very thing they asked for in in the budget, in, in this supplemental for the border, uh, you call it nonsense. And so there, and you're, you know, Putin's got his hand so far up your ass that you can't shake him loose unless it's for a really good payday. We're talking about shutting down all this asylum crap. We're talking about shutting down all this asylum crap. And deporting the eight to 10 million illegal aliens are here. They're sucking up resources, half a trillion dollars a year. That Yeah, but they also contribute. What, $3 trillion a year? I'm not even sure it's in the budget. Nah. That takes up more money for people who have... Also, what does a supplemental have to do for the overall do with the overall budget? And if it's not in the budget, why didn't the Republicans try to put it there? Pensions and health care. You understand what a paradise this is if we just got organized and said no? Oh, yes, a paradise. Uh, the uh, I think an, uh, a biblical word uh, that comes from the ancient Persian slash Iranian word... Uh, paradeza, which means garden. It is such a garden. But why, why don't we spend this on American citizens? Why don't we spend this on American citizens? Y- yeah, well, um, I guess you're going to apply that to all foreign aid and all support of, say, Israel, for example. You're, you're going to be good with that? Um, the uh, I've got my producer over here. Give me stink eye. I think we're Right. Play a song. We're going to try to play. Um, You're going to try to play with yourself? We're going to try to play Modern Day Holy War Going Out. Yeah, do that. I think that I think it, it's about three minutes and 50 seconds if I can do some producing while we're here. Make sure, by the way, we've got silent. Man, this is, I don't know why this guy doesn't have a position in government. He's just, this is such, this is so tight. This is so well crafted. I, when's Glenn Beck going to snatch you up and give you a show in a fake basement? Ugh. I want to make sure everybody nobody cares. Don't miss the Faraday bags. We don't want the government listening. Not that they would listen in if you're watching War Room. They never think of the possibility. Get a Faraday bag. Put your iPad in there. Put your computer in there. Put your phones in there. They got those bu- big, beautiful backpacks. Okay. They're selling uh, RFID blocking Faraday bags. Right. Yeah. Because... Because the idea is that that nothing says violent revolutionary like if they knew what I was up to, they'd probably kill me. What a proof you can't get in there. Make sure you go check it out. Yeah, check check out the the Faraday. What I do? That's a hell of a live read, Steve. Uh, we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave with Lady. No- Just leave. Who gives a shit? Grady's this song that's really catching fire. Modern day holy war, or because we're in a modern day holy war. No, we're not. No, we're, we aren't. We're going to be back in the second. Are, what, you're spo- I, they're supposed to roll the fucking song when you say that, aren't they? God, this is ass. An hour, I'm going to have Congressman Good. Oh, great. All right. Okay. I, I'm, I'm out. I can't. That's just that's some boring shit. There it is. I just wanted to prove to people that I knew what I was talking about. Paradeza. There it is. Enclosure Park. <laughs> it's very close. All right, there you go. And chat room, there you go. Yeah, this guy stole from maggots. It's the mo- and and that's the most endearing thing you can say about him. God damn! Look at you people talking and hanging out and having fun. By the way, uh, don't forget liking the show early helps us out tremendously. I'm just saying, and I know you're like we're an hour in, but sure, I know. Thank you. I just had to get the fuck out. 